Hey, it is Wednesday, March 25th. We have a day filled with great activities and some fun assignments. Just a reminder, go to the Heathcote eLearning to check out the specials. One thing that I was thinking, maybe you want to sign um, each day to be A, B, C, D, E, or F. And then, you know, on A days, go to your special, B days, go to your special, and so forth. Just so you can maybe plan that out a little bit better to make sure you're visiting uh, Ms. Bashir, Ms. Cameron, Mr. Borgia, Senora's class, all of our great classes. Yesterday, I was so proud of you, or Zoom I thought was a huge hit. I'm really proud of you. Please continue to follow the same instructions and just read the blurb here to remember what we need to do to be prepared for tomorrow. Our students 6, six through 10, um, I'll meet with you after the lesson just so I can have a conversation with you. We could just meet in a small group. And if you have um, paper and a pencil, please make sure you come prepared for that Zoom lesson. Continue your Padlet questions. I'll get back to you. Um, when you look in your social studies folder, you will see the new Zoom link for our 11 o'clock session today. We're going to be doing a reading lesson. Then quickly after that, we'll work on our social studies assignment for today. So please don't start your social studies until after our Zoom lesson. Okay, we have great news. Um, R.J. Palacio, the author of Wonder, will be reading every day live every weekday starting today, 12 to 12.45. So ask your parents about that. If, you know, if you can go onto this Twitter account and check her out. It's, it, it's going to be great. It'll be really fun to watch her um, and listen to her read her book. Hopefully you met with your book club members yesterday. Remember, continue your story mountain work, even though it was one lesson. That's something that I continue to practice and learn and plot on your mountain. Today, after our lesson, you're going to have session eight in your reading folder. So if you go into your reading folder, you're going to see up here, it says character studies, session eight. You're going to go into that, and we'll go over what that looks like after we do our lesson. Also, after our lesson today, please listen to chapters 18 and 19 um, after our session. You're going to need these two chapters for our Thursday Zoom at 11 a.m. And again, those are also found in your reading folder, and we just need to listen. They're pretty short. Uh, I would say about four or five minutes for each, for each chapter. So just listen into those two chapters. We're really heading towards the end of the book. Continue your reading. You should be reading at least 30 minutes a day. Hopefully you and your partner found the same book. If not, no worries. Just keep reading and keep doing that reading work we're practicing. Uh, today I'm really excited to introduce a new Seesaw activity. It is a book review. Uh, if you go into your Seesaw activity, let's see, you'll see right here I, I have playable instructions so you can listen into it but you're basically going to add a book that uh, a picture of the cover book you can screenshot it on your computer because I know it's hard to have actual books in hand these days so you could take a screenshot and put it in your seesaw and give it a book review and all the steps and everything is listed here for you this will be due Friday Hopefully we don't have any issues after Mr. Casal's seesaw um, session yesterday. Today we have a video from Miss Luciano. She's going to be teaching you area of a rectangle by using the formula length times width. You will need paper and a pencil to record and check your answers during this activity. I will also be looking for your seesaw activities your Gia Board of Shapes. It was due today. If you don't complete it, I will contact you, but please uh, make sure you submit it so I can publish it for you. Reflex is due Friday. Continue that. Our workbook pages, we have three workbook pages today. So just remember, um, you can copy and paste and put it into your math section and use a text box to type over it unless you want to print it out. That's fine too. I kept the same math challenge. It's the same one for the week. I think I'm only going to do one math challenge for a week from what it looks like. In social studies, we're continuing our cultural universal project. 
we, the politics section should be complete and in your e-learning social studies slides. So please add those if you did not yet. Today, you're going to see another assignment in your social studies folder. If you go to your social studies folder, you will see another slide that says social aspects. And I will go over with you today about my expectations. So please don't start this until after 11 o'clock Zoom. I am going to go over expectations of writing in sentences, using capitals, and really good quality work. So when you cut and paste into your slides, I, I'm seeing complete sentences and thorough answers. Okay, this will be due on Friday as well. And then we'll, next week we'll introduce you to another cultural universal. Again, continue your spelling. It's due on Friday. You might, just a tip, you might want to do your writing sort last because it does erase it. So I would probably do your writing sort on Friday, and then when you turn it in, it won't erase on you. Okay, boys and girls, I'm looking forward to our Zoom. I'll see you at 11. Talk to you soon.